Hey guys, welcome back to AWP. I am Pastor Ross and welcome to our series on living well with the Bible. So in our first episode, we talked about living well in the Bible, living well with the scriptures. And this week we're gonna be talking about living well at home. Now, wellness is so important. The Lord put it on my heart to release a series of videos or a few videos, maybe four, on living well, living a well and balanced life, right? So you wanna have the framework and the foundation of living well with Jesus through the scriptures, being in the word, being in devotion time on a daily basis. And so in this episode, living well at home, I want to talk about your environment. I want to talk about your space for creativity. I want to talk about, you know, what are you speaking into the atmosphere of your home, right? What are you speaking into the environment that you dwell in on a daily basis? When somebody walks into your home, are they able to say, wow, Jessica is a believer. She's a Christian. Wow, Mark is a, a believer. He's a Christian. Does the Holy Spirit just exude your home, right? Uh, do you feel a, a sense of peace in your home? What is the schedule like, right? Right, on a day-to-day -day basis if you have kids right what's the schedule like are you spending family time are you taking one day out of the week as a family right to get into the bible with your children to teach them the scriptures right even as a married couple um, you know, being in that word together, spending time at home, allowing God to permeate, allowing the scriptures to permeate through your home on a daily and weekly basis is key and crucial for combating the schemes of the enemy, right? And we all know that outside the world is filled with sin, right? In the, the children's school, on the job. So at home, you want to create a safe space for your children, right? For your spouse, right? Are you covering your children? Are you covering your spouse? Are you covering your home in prayer? So when we talk about living well at home, God is looking at a lot of areas. Is the home clean? Is the environment filled with the Holy Spirit and scripture, right? Is there structure? Are the children on a schedule, right? Um, where you're reading the word on a weekly basis, right? Is there harmony, right? Harmony is key. And for those of you who want to live and lead a, a lifestyle in ministry, right? God is saying your first priority is your home. Your home is your ministry, your first ministry. Your marriage is your first ministry. So God looks at all of those areas to see if you can be faithful. Can you steward the little things? Can you steward? the the areas like your home right your job before God can trust you with operating and owning a business or a ministry he wants to see how can you steward the things at home how can you steward being married how can you steward being a mother or a father how are you speaking to your children are you speaking life into your children how are you speaking to your spouse do you respect your wife do you do you pour into your wife right because if I I can't trust you to not be um, protective and to cover and to speak life into your wife. How can I trust you to speak life into your ministry, into the people I send you, into the, to the sheep that I send you, right? So God looks at all of these things. Are you paying the bills on time, right? Are bills getting out in a timely manner? Is there a budget? Are you budgeting? I want to ask you, is there a family a budget or a monthly budget in the household? where you're not eating out every day, where you're not ordering out every day. God is looking at your stewardship. For those of you, we know there is a, a split a debate on tithing. Some believe in it, some don't. That's a whole other topic. But God does love when we give back to the body of Christ because it takes finances to be able to keep the lights on, to be able to, you know, uh, help feed the poor and to be able to put on different events, right? So are you uh, stewarding and are you giving? Are you tithing, right? The money that you spend out each week on Uber Eats, right? That could go toward um, giving to the church, saving towards your business, right? Helping out with your ministry expenses. Senses. So God is looking at the home, right? He's looking at how balanced you are, not just with him and not just in the scriptures, but at home and with your children, with your family, with your finances, right? So I love you guys. Put your um, your schedule down below if you want to. Comment your schedule. Comment what your day-to-day -day is like at home when you wake up in the morning until you go to bed at night. Are you spending time with your kids? Are you pouring into your kids with the scriptures? I want you to take the time right now to think about these things 
journal these things down share with us in the comments below about your day-to-day -day and how you live a balanced life at home with jesus i love you guys have a blessed day happy new year and i'll be back with our third video on living well with the bible god bless